Okay, guys, it's been six days since I already first put the mangoes inside of the uh, Ziplocs, and I'm opening it up now to check it. Three to six days is how long it's supposed to be there. And this is how this one looks. It looks like it's got a decent start. And after six days, you're supposed to put them in soil. The woman that uh, actually had the video that I watched left a Ziploc over the top of it and I'm just going to use the oh that's nice this one came out real good and I'm just going to use the coconut hair that uh, I used earlier to make the cantaloupes later on I'll show the cantaloupes and how well they're doing too but this is what these two look like after six days now I take them and I put them in shallow dirt which is the coconut hair I said barely cover them Barely covering it. And that's what I did there. Same with this one. You gotta excuse my sniffles. I've got a cold, so doing this with a cold probably isn't a good idea, but it had to be done. It's the sixth day, so. So there we got that. Take the lid. Put it on this one. And then I'm going to put it inside of a Ziploc baggie. And keep an eye on it. And grab it, and I'm keeping all of this indoors right now. It's October now, and I'm going to start growing inside and see how that works out. I've already got the tomato plant inside, and uh, got a uh, uh, cantaloupes, got 20 of them, or 19 or 20 of them, and they've done really good with these. Uh, with this camel hair, or not camel hair, but the coconut hair. I've 
gotten the best results off those coconut hairs but I'm gonna leave them in here and I'll check them every week and water them and they said that this should work out pretty good I've also got some apple seeds too that I've got germinating just like I did with these I should have used paper towels but I had to use toilet paper and I'm gonna be checking up on those okay so I was told that with pears and with uh, apples you germinate them basically the same way as what you do with a uh, mango so I germinated them in toilet paper and today I'm going to transfer them over from toilet paper to uh, paper towel but this is the first week for I believe those are the pears and last week they said to put liquid or to dampen the rag but I didn't do it because they also had me uh, set them in water to soak for eight hours before I did it eight eight to ten hours is what they suggested and I uh, figured that was long enough for being uh, damp so I held off this week and I am transferring them over to paper towels and they said to do this once a week and spray them down so that's what I'm doing with them until there's some kind of results so this is my first week where I'm doing this they didn't look like they had much for results but you never know check on these see what they look like it's only been a week so there's probably no results yet from the video that I took the suggestion from I, they didn't see results until about three or four weeks look like after a week you see using this kind of material makes me worry about uh, seed rot so I've got to be real real careful make sure that I check these when I'm supposed to dampen that before I folded it but I did it because of the toilet paper that was stuck to it I don't know why but I did I was told that you didn't have to worry about putting them in this sun. You can stick them in any place you need to. If it's a dark place, stick them in a dark place or stick them in a place that has sunshine. So it doesn't matter on that point, but that's what I did. This is my first week on the apples and the pears, and I will keep checks on them, let you guys know what happens.
Now these right here are the uh, cantaloupe cantaloupes that I was able to get actually growing. I counted them up. There's there was 21. Now there's only 20. Sorry for the bad lighting. I have it indoors, and it's I'm using the drone to actually take the video footage, but that's them. The, uh, the, that's it. The ones back there are seven days old, I believe, and these are 14 days old. I uh, are actually 14 and 21, and then the ones back here in the back are are seven days old. Now these are the mangoes. Yeah, they see them right there. Those are seven days old. And that's Robert's, uh, uh, not cantaloupe, but uh, his uh, pineapple. And those are the cantaloupes that are seven days old. I just took those out. Um, these are mangoes, at the one, ones up in front with the plastic bags. I have those covered. I'm not using the plastic for condensation, just for protection against infet, you know, bugs and stuff. So, and uh, those right there are 12 days old, I believe. And the ones that are right there in the containers there, those are six days. I, and that is the, the plant, the tomato plant that we have. The poor thing's been through a lot. I'm surprised it stayed alive for this year. We've put this poor thing through some bad times. At least it made it to the harvester moon, though, so... Hopefully we can keep it alive and then maybe make some more tomato plants that are healthy. Um, I'm not too proud of that, but at least it's still alive. Well, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, subscribe, share. Thanks for watching.